um, very little is really known about his opinions on Tibet, except that his father, Xi Zhongshun, who was a former vice premier, um, was close to the 10th Panchen Lama and also knew the Dalai Lama. And uh, in the 1980s, when um, Tibetan envoys visited Tibet and met with Xi Zhongshun, they saw that he had treasured a gold watch that His Holiness the Dalai Lama had given to him many years previously. And we also know about Xi Zhongshun that he sided with Hu Yabang and condemned the violence in Tiananmen Square and was purged from the party on a couple of occasions. Um, in fact, Xi Jinping chose to join the Communist Party whilst his father was in prison. And he himself was suffering persecution for his father's so-called crimes. So the big question for us is, will Xi Jinping turn out to be his father's son? Will he show that he has any empathy for the Tibetan people at all? that he um, shares any of his father's more liberal ideas, although I think it would be a stretch to say that Xi Zhongshan had any sympathy for um, Tibetan separatism. Um, so I think our message for Xi Jinping is that if he is indeed visiting Lhasa in the next couple of days, um, it's a shame that the city seems to be under lockdown. He's certainly not going to learn anything about Tibet um, in those circumstances. Um, and we would urge him, when he takes control um, of the Politburo Standing Committee, to make sure that Hu Jintao's influence over Tibet policy is firmly put aside. Because Hu Jintao is a failed leader. He has failed Tibet. And uh, we have greater expectations of Xi Jinping and uh, hope that he will fulfill them by genuinely engaging with the exiled Tibetan government and allowing the Tibetan people the right to decide their own future.